Have you ever felt like the universe was against you? Have you ever cursed the universe or called it an asshole or said that it's rude or said that it hates you or that it's out to get you? Well, guess what? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the universe is not judging you. If anybody is out to get you, uh, it's you. I'm so sorry. It's you. It's you. Okay. Well, we're going to fix that. We're talking about why you get the opposite of what you intend instead of getting what you intend <laughs> in this episode of Roxy Talks. This whole week is audience submitted questions. So these come straight from you. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'm going to be giving you my own personal tips for scripting and affirming this issue away. Stay tuned. <laughs> What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I am a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and self-limiting doubts so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If you'd like to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching so we can get to the specific issues of why what you intend to manifest seems to be running away from you and instead the universe is giving you the exact opposite, we can discuss that in one-on-one -on -one coaching. The link to sign up is in the description below. So why does what we resist persist? Why is that a saying? What does that mean? Well, if you think about it, it's like you are holding on way too tight. Even this, me holding like this, like my nails are digging into my palms, my rings are like crunching into my fingers. It's tension, it hurts, it's making my muscles flex and my blood pump really hard and everything is like rushing to my hands. That's tension, that's force, that's physical 3D manipulation and coercion. Think about this, when you push on something, it pushes back. When you fight something, it fights back. When you hate something, it hates back. It only grows the tension. So if you are pushing on something that you don't want to happen, if you are trying so hard to manifest something, it has to be done, and it's like, oh, I want this. It's going to push back and it's going to replicate in your world. Now, before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach more people and everyone deserves to know that they are in control of their world. So why does holding on too tight to something push it away? When you are wrangling something, when you are uh, fighting something, trying to like get it and just like, oh, I gotta get it, I gotta get this thing, I want it so freaking bad. When you're doing that, you're fighting against something. You're fighting against the absence of it. You're like, I'm gonna make this happen no matter what you're doing physical coercion for a non-physical reality. You're holding on really tight. You're manifesting super, super hard to affect something that is not physical. It's in potentiality. It's in wave form. So in quantum physics, we learned that all things are either particle or wave. That means it's solid or energy. It's perceivable by the human senses or non-perceivable by the human senses. Both still exist, both are still equally valid, but one of them exists in our 3D world and one of them, I mean, it, it's still here, we just can't see it. When things are in wave form, they are in potentiality. What that means is that they are a probability. They could be anything. It's all things and no things. It's everything and none things. It's yes and no. It's past and future. It's present. It's everything. It's all things at one time. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. Anything that ever was or ever will be already exists. So anything that you could possibly want, any potentiality, anything that you are thinking of in the abstract, you're trying to make come to fruition in the 3D world is in wave form, in energetic form until it pops in your reality. That is called a collapse. In that moment, when it collapses into the 3D world, that's when it goes from wave or potentiality to particle or solid matter. Now, when things are in the wave form, they are in potentiality. They are a probability, okay? So out of all the infinite realities, out of all the infinite outcomes of the specific thing that you want, there are higher chances of it going certain ways than there are of it going other ways. So for example, let's talk about the chicken crossing the road, okay? In all the realities that exist, there's probably a big portion of them where the chicken makes it across the street. There's a big potentiality that he gets smushed and turned to a pancake, and there's all infinite other ways that could go down. However, the probability of him getting across the street and maybe getting ran over are probably pretty high, and it's more likely that in all of the infinite potentialities or probabilities that the chicken would get run over or make it across the street. 
Who knows what the other options could be? Maybe they got rolled up on the hood of a car and got taken to Indiana. Who knows? Any other infinite things could happen, but it's more than likely that it's probably that they got across the road or that they got smushed on the way there. Now, all of these potentialities exist before the chicken starts crossing the road. And then things unfold as they do, and the chicken either makes it or he doesn't, or he ends up in Indiana. We don't know yet because we don't know how that comes out until we actually observe it happening. So if you are manifesting something, if you are calling something into the 3D realm, you're selecting it from the energetic field, you're selecting it from the other side of the mirror, you're selecting it from an infinite potentiality, there's that period where if you watched my video yesterday about hot and cold behavior, I talked about how manipulating things from the energetic field take a little bit of time for them to show up in our world, Sometimes, not all the time, of course, it can happen in an instant, but a lot of times it takes a minute. And it's just like if you were to wave in a mirror and stand there for a moment, and then after a minute, the mirror waved back at you. It's just like that. If you can wait for the mirror to wave back, then you're golden, you're in the sweet spot. You're ready to accept your manifestation. So while you're choosing something from the energetic field and it's in that potentiality phase, it's in the probability phase, if you don't set your intentions, your focus on it coming out the way you want, on the chicken making it across the road, and you keep entertaining ideas, you're visualizing the chicken making it, but then you're like, oh, but what if it gets hit? What if it makes it? But what if it gets hit? And you're going back and forth. You are entertaining. You are are allowing, you are giving a greater probability to the outcome you want not happening to actually collapse in your reality, to actually come to fruition. So it's very important that when things are out to the universe, when you've sent them out and you're waiting for them to come back, when they're in waveform, when they're in potentiality, when they're all things and no things at once so they could actually be anything when they pop in your reality, it's very important that you stay super focused on the reality that you do want because you don't want to entertain any of the other potentialities that could happen in your reality. You want it to be the outcome that you select. Everything is two subjects, either the absence of it or the presence of it. There's no judgment. There's no good or bad. There's just it or not. It's our own feelings that we attach to it, our own judgments that give it meaning to us in our world. So think about it like this. If you are calling a subject up, let's say it's a specific person. Let's say you're thinking about your SP and you're like, I'm intending for my SP to show up in my life, but uh, he keeps ghosting me, which <laughs> that video was out yesterday, so make sure you check that out. So when you think about your SP, think of it like you're hanging that picture on your wall. Any thought that you think about, anything you feel about, anything you're manifesting, that is a photo you're hanging on your wall. The photo is the photo. It's neither good or bad. It just is. Your SP isn't good or bad. It's just a blob of energy. It's nothing until you give it meaning and wait. So... The picture is the picture, no matter what, we're hanging on our wall, which means we're thinking about it, we're feeling about it, we're manifesting, it's part of our decor now, okay? What we need to do is make sure that the frame we're putting this picture in is the frame that we want. This is where the change is made, okay? Because right now, if you are getting the exact opposite of what you want, you're probably not framing the thing that you want in a beautiful, gilded, ornate frame. You're putting it in some rusty ass, falling apart, nails falling out, splinter giving frame, okay? It doesn't look good on your wall. It doesn't add to the ambiance of the room, okay? So we want to make sure that the frame we're putting our SP in or whatever we're manifesting is beautiful and loving and gorgeous and we love it and we're not worried about lack because we know we're constantly creating. And in any moment, if we don't like what we have or what we see, we just create a new reality. We just select a new reality to be in. We just choose another version of ourselves to step into not a problem. So make sure that you're putting whatever it is that you're trying to manifest in the proper frame. Make sure you're thinking about it, talking about it, feeling about it, dreaming about it, scripting about it, affirming about it, whatever, in the way that you want it to go and not noticing the absence, not affirming the fact that things always work out in the exact opposite way that you want. In fact, you need to stop saying that. If you're somebody who feels like what you resist persists and you're always manifesting the opposite of what you want, you <laughs> Here's the first thing you need to do is stop saying that. You need to start saying, hey, everything always works out the way that I want it to. Things are always working out exactly the way that I intend. I always get the manifestations I want. Things always unfold in the most amazing ways for me. It gets better and better every day. I'm seeing so many manifestations pop in my reality. I can barely keep up. I am so excited about my own power. I am so ready to just step into this and accept it and know my own power. I am always growing. I am always manifesting. I am always seeing cool stuff happen. The universe is laying 
bringing out the most amazing and exciting experiences for me. Every single day I'm getting new opportunities for greatness. This is how I would script or affirm. I would say, Everything always comes exactly the way that I want it to or better. The universe is constantly surprising me. I think I want something some way and the universe is like, hey, I got you. Let's just make it a little bit better. And it is amazing. The universe is always giving me the cherry on top. I love the way that things unfold for me. It's always magical and beautiful and amazing and surprising and uplifting. And I just want more of it. I love it. I love being a master manifester. So I want you to comment down below, I am a master manifester and I always get what I want. I'm a master manifester and I always get what I want. And I want you to say it like that. I always get what I want. And if I don't get what I want, it's because the universe has given me something even better I didn't even know that I wanted. The universe always has my back. The universe is always looking out for me. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out best case scenario. Things are always working out according to my most divine plan. And I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings me. If you want to get on board the positive thinking train, download my 30 days of alignment challenge. It's completely free and it's actually how I changed my complete way of thinking going from reacting to anger and stewing in negativity to being able to consciously and habitually choose good thoughts all the time. Download my 30 days of alignment challenge in the description below. And don't forget that you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching so we can figure out exactly why what you want to manifest seems to evade you. The link for coaching is in the description below as well. Here on the Roxy Talks channel, I go live every Monday with Q&A at noon-ish PST. And I have new videos out every Tuesday through Friday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. It helps us reach more people, and everyone deserves to know that they are in control of their entire reality. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.